Dream storms, hotter seasons. With a specialized degree in climate, he's pioneering the way we look at climate and how it affects our weather. Now, climate specialist Jeff Berardelli. In today's climate classroom, through the millennia, Earth's climate has gradually shifted from ice ages to periods even warmer than today due to natural cycles. The current moment is different. The rate of warming is unprecedented, and we know there is danger ahead. But are these alarming headlines accurate, or are they over-exaggerated? I spoke to one of the world's leading climate scientists about just how concerned we should be. We're conducting an unprecedented experiment with the only home we have. Dr. Katherine Hayhoe is the chief scientist at the Nature Conservancy. When you look at plants and animals, people say, oh, well, they've adapted to much greater changes in the past. And they have, but not this fast. The changes that are happening are orders of magnitude faster than the warming between the last ice age and today. And so what's at, at stake is everything, everyone, every place that we care about. For some, Hayhoe's message will sound heavy and hard to believe. But what the science is telling us must not be sugarcoated. It sounds to me like you're saying that humanity truly is at some point threatened. Our existence can be threatened if we don't combat climate change quickly. It's the existence of human civilization as we know it. In the blink of a geological eye, modern man has transformed Earth's bounty into boundless prosperity. But Heho says it's built on a shaky foundation. The way we grow food, the way we get our water, the way we design our infrastructure, our economy, our supply lines, lines our geopolitical boundaries, all of that was built for a planet that no longer exists. We've seen recent examples of the fragility of our supply chains due to the pandemic and the war in Ukraine. Goods become sparse, gas prices soar, and the everyday things we take for granted become difficult, especially for those with lesser means. It offers a small glimpse into our challenging future as climate change increasingly piles on the systems that sustain us. Climate change is a threat multiplier. So it's taking all of these issues that we're already concerned about and making them worse. But the irony is dire messages like these don't motivate. They tend to paralyze. 50% of people in the U.S., when they're asked about climate change, they say that they feel helpless and hopeless. And if we don't think we can make a difference, we do nothing. But Hayho stresses through collective action, we can still prevent the worst from happening. Our future is truly in our hands. The choices that we make will determine the magnitude and the speed. So what is the best way for one person to make a difference? Plant a seed, any seed. You get solar panels on your roof. Next thing you know, this neighbor has solar panels. And then a few years later, the person across the street has solar panels. Is that what you're talking about? That's exactly what happens is we can be contagious through our actions and through our voices. There's a chance to not just avoid catastrophe, but to turn this climate challenge into an opportunity to make a better life for humanity. But the bottom line is, Jeff, if we wait until the connection is evident and clear to everybody on the economic impacts and the personal impacts, it's too late. Jeff for more Climate Classroom, visit WFLA.com. We'll be right back.